Good evening. I'd like to welcome everybody to the September 5th River Falls Planning Commission meeting. First thing we'll do is stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, I just didn't want to go. <laughs> okay, uh, can we have a roll call, please? Moody? Present. Van Galen? Here. Reese? Here. Toland? Here. Morissette? Here. Stiesel? Here. Okay, next we move on to approval of the minutes from the uh, July 18th meeting and the August 1st meeting. Make a motion we accept the minutes of the July 18th and the August 1st meetings. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> okay, next we move on to public comments. If there's anybody in the audience has anything they'd like to say, I'll be time to stand up. Otherwise, move on to current items. Consideration of a resolution approving the final plat of the Villas of Sterling Pond, Phase 2. And it looks like Tony's going to fill us in. Mayor and Planning Commission members, I'll try and be brief. Um, what we have before us tonight is the final plat for the uh, villas of Sterling Ponds Phase 2. Um, the developer, DW Homes, they've applied for the final plat. Uh, you may recall that uh, recently, uh, in the spring of 2017, the preliminary plat and the developer's agreement for Sterling Ponds was renewed and at that time um, this plat, the final or preliminary plat was shown before you because uh, lots, lots had changed, some of it was sold off to the city, but uh, the uh, plat for the villas basically stayed the same. So that's kind of the yellow area that you see right here is kind of the location <coughs> of and this is Chapman Drive here and this is County Road U, which we now call Hoopert Street. So I'll just blow this up a little bit. And so that's what we have here. Again, uh, this was originally approved in 2003 and then it was renewed again in 2017. Uh, the first phase is approaching full build out and now they would like to open up the second phase uh, you have before you the uh, report and the resolution. We'll try to answer any questions you have. Uh, there is a resolution forwarding this to the council with a favorable recommendation. And with that, I'm just going to ask if you have any questions. It is a it, it is single family and twin homes. Okay. Tony, I've I've um, I assume we went through the developers agreement being that it was originally drafted in, what was it, 2002 or 2003? And we did that again, yeah, in 17 and yeah. made any updates okay, to Okay, we, we brought it up to date and, mm -hmm. okay, great, thank you. That's all I had. Okay. Anybody else have any questions for Tony while he's up there? Okay, I'll entertain a motion. I make a motion we approve the final plat for the Villas of Sterling Ponds, phase two. Second. Nobody had any questions, so all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. Uh, this this will come before the council on September 26 for final action. Okay. Thank you. Uh, next one is a consideration of a resolution approving <clears throat> the discontinuance of an underdeveloped of an undeveloped alley between East Park Street and Broadway Street. And Brandy will give us a lowdown. Well, we received an application from the McEwen family um, a couple weeks ago to vacate the alley that's shown in yellow on the map in front of you. It is an un or it's a platted but unpaved alley that's been on the books for many, many years. I think probably since the early 1900s. Um, there's no known easements on the alley. The McEwen family is in the process of 
trying to consolidate all of their properties and they hope to acquire this to make the site more development ready. Um, the community development department and other city staff have looked at the site and we don't have any concerns with, with this as a proposal. Um, and like Tony, we have put a resolution in your packet for your consideration with a favorable, favorable recommendation to city council for first reading at the September 22nd meeting and then a public hearing at the October 10th meeting. So with that, I will leave it open to questions. Any questions? Brandy, um, and this is jumping the gun a little bit further down the road, but have we communicated with the McEwen property, our South Main Street um, uh, project that we looked at specifically with connection with Church Street? Have we been able to do that yet? Again, it might be premature, but no, with the realignment there? I have not. Um, I've only been in communication with Ken Lee, the realtor, who was the applicant for the family. Okay. So I've just been doing the due diligence of this particular process. Okay. I don't know, Amy, if you have any. Uh, yeah, I would just say I think both Buddy and Scott had met with the family prior to this application coming in. Okay. So it's a good possibility that they had mentioned I would just that suggest that, you know, as they start thinking about this, I know that there is either a potential or pending raised permit, I think, on the Red House on the south side of that property. So as they start to think about that, I think it would be prudent for us to give them a little lay that report in front of them and say here's what we're thinking so with that uh, okay anybody else have any questions <coughs> okay I'll entertain a motion on that then oh come on anyone Boy, anyone, make anyone? heavy lifting I, here tonight I or move, what I anyone? move that the described unpaved alley is hereby <coughs> discontinued in conformance with Wisconsin state statutes, whatever that one is, 66.1003. Second. Any more questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> and number three is no longer on the agenda, the application withdrawn. So we'll move on to updates and information. Basic parliamentary, par, parliamentary motions. Amy. This was not a reflection. <laughs> <laughs> we been, have we been bad? No, we haven't. <laughs> it was simply, I was looking through the municipality. If you haven't seen this, it really looked like a quick and dirty um, summary for you. I know we've got some new folks on, on board as well. So we'll just hand it out as new folks come on, and, and hopefully it'll help them out. Okay, so. perfect. Um, then we have down on calendar, next planning commission meeting will be October 3rd, 2017. Hope to see you all there. Uh, that's it. Mr. Mayor, make a motion. We adjourn. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nobody's opposed. I was looking for that we are. I didn't know which one it was. <laughs> I know.